started with the Export Max Enterprise Development Program back in 2011 and it ran for two years. Coming out of the success of that program, we decided to do an Export Max 2, which is the current program. It started back in 2014, ran for three years, and now we're at the end of the program. The Export Max program sought to address some of the gaps that we identified in our assessment of these companies. So we introduced programs that sought to build their capacity and to help them to understand how to penetrate markets. The companies have really shown some significant improvements. We have had coming out of the coaching and the productivity audit in particular, significant changes in the way these companies do business. Initially, I wanted to learn more about markets. Export Max to me was a program that opened up my mind to possibilities with research. The growth has been phenomenal. We have exceeded our, our, our market targets, our sales revenues. It's amazing that a customer that we met with Export Max in Canada, in Toronto, has just come on stream two months, three months ago. And the sales so far in the three or four months has reached $5 million. We realized that we could expand into other parts of the region. The product um, being suitable for tropical climates um, could be exported and Jampro identified us as one of the companies that could get into export and so that's kind of how we got into the, the Export Max program with Jampro. You know, what we've learned, what we've been able to acquire, how, you know, even our physical plant, we've been able to try to improve on it. When you look at what um, you, what that is worth in dollar value, people's eyes were really open. And so we had an excellent time with that. That's also just part of the whole Export Max program. We, you know, took a good advantage of all of what was been offered to us. And I think that's partly why we've had a, a real, I think, a decent outcome. Jampro is very grateful for the support of our sponsors for Export Max 2. We could not have done it without them. In particular, our main sponsor was the Development Bank of Jamaica, DBJ. We also had strong support from Hard Trust NTA and also the Jamaica Productivity Center and Scotia Bank. Having completed the Export Max 2 program, we certainly expect that the participating companies will continue to grow. We expect that they will move forward with the new knowledge that they have. We expect that they will convert the trade leads that we've been able to help them to garner from export markets. And I really think that many of them are now positioned to be mentors themselves for other fledgling companies.